Hey guys, welcome to Gaslands TV and today we're going to be doing another build tutorial for a piece of terrain and I'll be using these things here. Um, I don't remember in which packaging they came in or um, which item I bought but it's probably something electronic and I was to protect it. So I'm just going to cut the edges out here and uh, let's see if I could maybe use one of these red oxon i like these these little canisters because they not only do they provide you with vitamin c which is very good for you uh they also provide you with amazing terrain uh pieces and stuff and i'll show you why with the cover at the top later but uh it fits perfectly into this little hole here so that's pretty good and i'm gonna put some of this gorilla glue this is the white gorilla glue this is the one that kind of bubbles up and becomes foamy and stuff um, I'm gonna use these also these hot wheel uh, extra bits and extra tires that I have here I'm just gonna cut the axle in half um, by the way guys if you I'd, I'd like to know in the comments if you like that I do some cuts and I cut cut fast forward stuff like that or if you want to see the entire process like the entire video if you if you enjoy long videos or uh, I don't know if you have a TV in your room and you, you play these videos to fall asleep to do you want me to like make a really long edit for my next video where I go throughout the entire steps or you like this quick uh, edited version of my builds so let me know in the comments I, I, I've always wondered that since I started so uh, back to the build uh, I'm gonna use those axles as little rivets in the terrain why not instead of throwing it out and uh, I'm gonna use these tires to just decorate uh, different parts and areas of this little piece of terrain that we're building here um, it's this is not the best glue to use on this kind of material uh, I would I would use the gorilla glue the white one again that kind of expands and folds as you can see at the bottom of the uh, canister there it's it's kind of bubbling up it's starting to bubble up but uh, i'm going to use these wooden sticks here these are like coffee stir sticks to uh, make some planks maybe where the uh, wastelanders can use to cross from one uh, part of the fort or whatever we're building here to the next part instead of going around something to you know maybe jump over these little rivers that we're going to do or I don't know, we'll see what we'll do with those. But see the glue there, how it's bubbling up. And uh, this is the top, which I really like. It kind of gives some kind of like antenna look to it or whatever. So if you can buy a box of 10 Redoxon, uh, you'll be, first of all, healthier with some vitamin C. And uh, you'll have some cool uh, terrain that you can, can build bits, bits for the terrain. So I'm going to just put some of this white, gorilla white glue. Um, up here leaking down because it's gonna bubble up and it's gonna look like something maybe toxic or or soapy I don't know something that's gas landsy that's gonna bubble up there we'll paint it uh, maybe green or something now for some weapons I got some 3d printed uh, weapons here and um, if, if you don't have any weapons uh, or printed or bought any you, you can buy some on my Etsy page or just Check out my other videos where I make um, weapons out of other things. But I have this uh, skewer here. I'm going to make a hole. Uh, see, so this is what I'm talking about. The glue is not really good for this material here. So these planks, I'm going to have to use the actual Gorilla Glue White on these planks because that's not going to hold if you just use a regular miniature glue on this kind of material. Um, so I'm going to make this uh, a little hole here. And I'm gonna reverse it and put the stick in here, because I want I want to be able to move that weapon from uns like from the bottom or something. So I'm just gonna mark it here, and I'm gonna cut this shish kebab where I marked it, and I'm gonna glue it to the gun. And what what's cool about this is that you're actually making it modular. So if you have a bunch of terrain and you've uh, made holes like this. And you have all these guns i'll show you later how it becomes like modular and it's it's really cool uh, so while that glue is drying up for the gun i'm gonna put a bit of glue here and put a gas lens tv antenna maybe this is like a some kind of station or broadcast station something that uh, needs to be protected with turrets and stuff so that 
we could continuously broadcast the races and this is a little 3d terminal that a friend printed for me so i'm going to use that at the bottom there and uh, it looks like it's coming along i think uh, this this is good to prime so i, I primed it brown and uh, left it overnight to dry so this is looking pretty good now we're gonna just have to like paint some of the stuff silver i got the bubbled uh, ooze or goo or whatever here coming out uh, we're gonna probably make that green and i got the little hole here so these are the guns that i painted while while i was waiting for it to dry so i got like a mini gun i got some missiles rockets um, and what's modular about this is that you can if you have different terrains and you've already planned to make holes in them like this and you know you could move them however you want and uh, it, it makes it modular so you could choose what kind of guns go on which terrain and if you're going to use them in your scenario or not or whatever so uh, for this one i think i'm gonna you know put a harpoon i think the harpoon goes really well with this this type of terrain and uh, so so that that's what i wanted to show you with that hole there but for now let's uh, get some silver out and i'm going to paint the antenna up there and i'm going to also paint the uh, terminal this is what i mean by fast forwarding if you guys are okay with that or do you really want to see the entire process let me know um, i know some people like um, slow burn videos or are they called those videos that you just put and plays in the background and you fall asleep to it or whatever um, but also on your brush if you have a bit of silver left after you've done your silver uh, don't clean your brush clean it on the actual terrain um, it's very little it's called dry brushing um, it puts a little bit you can't really tell but it puts a little bit of a shine there on the piece so it makes it look a little bit more metallic there's there's quite a bit um, on the brush that you don't actually see with the naked eye but if you put it it's going to make it shine and it's going to be good it's going to make it look nice and metallic then we're going to put some orange a bit of orange here just on a use a brush that's all broken that's not you know super clean it's going to give you that random that random look and you're just gonna you know flick it on the edge of where you wherever you want some rust to be like dripping or something so for me it's going to be up here and uh, i'm going to put a bit at the bottom here and just flick it upwards that's going to give it a bit of a rust look at the bottom here and as you can see my brush is completely like not not in the best shape and you know put a bit of orange on the tip there and just flick it up it's gonna be random it's gonna do it for you and uh you could also like dab a few areas give some like uh rusts spots and then flick down a little bit that's gonna give it a, like some rust holes not to cover this area here that i missed i'm just gonna put a lot of orange let's make it a nice big rust spot here i don't know why but something something very corrosive uh, was shot up there and it's making it rust like crazy and now we're gonna change the orange to a different orange uh, what you want to do is maybe use two or three different orange like a light orange um, or lava orange or just plain out like rust orange from army painter it's all different little subtle differences between the different oranges and that's gonna make the rust look a little bit more realistic because it's not all the same orange i'm gonna put some in the back here forgot to do this this back over here and maybe actually just rest the top of these things here on top of that here because it was too silver too clean and needs to get like dirtied up a little bit here so as you can see there's a bunch of different oranges on my palette so i'm going to try to go with the lava orange now a different type of orange and just gonna add it just on the edges here and not cover up too much the other orange but 
see like rust has different orange colors to it so might as well do the same thing on your terrain and uh, I've been using the same brush for this because it doesn't have to be perfect the rust is always random so randomly choose a spot and just flick down your brush it's gonna give you some nice rust effect here on this big area I'm gonna put a little bit more in the middle and I'm probably gonna cover that with some green later on or something so as you can see it's got that metallic look because of the silver dry brushing and a few different oranges now I'm gonna go back to a darker brown because some rust also has dark brown in it and uh, I'm gonna use that to just go a little bit over my orange spots maybe just the big spots of orange I'll just randomly put it different areas that gives it a nice little rusty look so the more different oranges and browns you put the more rusted your your thing will look and uh, I'd say maybe even more realistic if you have all these different browns and orange on your metallic part so I'm just gonna put a bit on the edges here okay, I'm gonna just fast forward it and uh, that looks okay right I mean unless someone picks it up off the table and stares at it as close as this it looks pretty good on the table and now we're gonna go with some water slides these are decals that I picked up at my uh, local shop that was actually closing down I felt bad for them for closing they had a lot of train stuff and they had a bunch of slides that I took uh, so these are mostly to decorate trains or train tracks and stuff like that but uh, I'm gonna use it for some terrain and uh, what you're gonna do with this is put it in water wait a couple of seconds and then try to slide it off somehow uh, I'm, I'm not really good with these water slides but once you have it slid off the uh, the back paper you could just hold it and then slide the, the paper out and it should go onto your terrain like like so and uh, it's kind of still wet so if you have something to dab it with and dry it use that and uh, let's uh, let's dirty that up a little bit it's it's way too clean right so let's put some orange and rest up this logo here let's randomly put some orange and again even for this might want to try different orange there so puts a bit of the dark brown just on the edges here to give it like a 3d the top is resting maybe just a little bit of the bottom here and uh, that looks pretty good and now we're gonna go with some green lime green for all that uh, gorilla white glue that dried up I'm just gonna put the paint directly on without even using a brush for now because it's very liquidy this is like for airbrush so it's not gonna it's not gonna be very opaque so I could just shove it there and uh, it's gonna drip a little bit maybe put some here let it drip make it look as oozy as possible and I'm gonna help it at the bottom here with a brush as you can see this would take like four or five coats if you kept using this paint so it's not the best idea but you know it got in the cracks and everything because it was liquidy and uh, we're gonna put another coat on top of this with the apple green here and uh, having different types of green on this is gonna make it look a little bit more realistic kind of the same method that we used with the rust and with a brush that has just water I'm gonna try to clean the edges here a bit where all the paint went maybe some extra paint just gonna add some water and try to 
clean it out of there. Alright, so the green uh, looks pretty good. Looks oozy, oozy enough. And uh, we're going to go with mahogany now for these boards. And uh, this is mahogany air. So this one's very liquidy as well. If you could find a mahogany that's not liquidy, it can also help. But I like the liquidy one because it stays very uh, transparent. It's not opaque, so it's going to give it that mahogany wood look because you're going to kind of see through it. So it's going to look like uh, it's going to look like wood. Your brush strokes are going to make it look like the wood grain, you know. So if you use the water one, it's for me, I find it's better than just using a, a just a straight up brown. If you do have brown, water it down. If you have this kind of brown, water it down and it would do the same effect. Now for the screen, we're going to go with some black. And uh, here I went really slow and carefully. And we're going to also put a water slide on the screen here. Um, in one of my previous builds, I actually wrote it by hand uh, with some white, but uh, I'm not going to do that for this one. But before I do that, I'm going to put some of this a little bit everywhere. This is Ashland uh, decorative filler, and it was pretty cheap, not expensive. Um, and I got some Amazon glue here, also very cheap. And I'm going to put some glue a little bit everywhere here, so... Just wherever I want there to be like some some sand, I'm just gonna put some glue. And you can be really generous with this uh, Amazon glue because it dries and it, it dries up smaller and it shrinks and everything like that. You'll see that in my next builds. Um, I made an entire pool just using this glue and it shrank and it was a mess and uh, subscribe to not miss that one. And we're gonna just, uh, you know, dump the entire thing on the uh, terrain. Actually, no, you don't want to do that. You want to just pinch a little bit of it and drop it on the terrain. If you do have a bucket that you could like just shove everything on top of your terrain and if you really want it to be super sandy, then sure, dump the entire bucket. But for me, I'm just going to pinch where the glue is. Just pinch a bit of sand everywhere here. And uh, whatever sticks, sticks, I guess. Hopefully a lot of it sticks and it's going to give it, you know, a bit of a, I don't know, some texture to it. And then there's going to be some extra, right? That didn't stick. So you just want to slowly remove that excess, make it fall off your terrain and then recycle the leftover, put it back inside your uh, bucket there so that it saves for your next build. And now I got the water slide here for the screen. It's a little bit tricky to put. You gotta be like surgical and you want it to be straight and you know, you wanna show all your viewers that you have stable hands, which I think I did. That's pretty straight. I guess that's okay. I'm gonna just dry it up a little bit. And uh, there we go, we got that uh, done. I have a metallic pen here I'm going to use for the mags of the tires and I'm going to just put some black on the tires, make those tires uh, pop and look realistic. And again, I'm going to fast forward here because I don't think you need to see the entire thing. But if you do want to see it, if you want my next video to be an hour long, let me know and I'll do I'll put everything and I won't cut anything. Uh, I'm going to use some of this Ashland, so it's the same company that made that sand, Ashland, and this is moss, like natural moss and stuff. You could choose even different colors, there's a bunch of different colors. And for this one, since there's like some green goo coming out of here, I'll, I, I took this moss because it's very bright. It, it looks like it's feeding, you know, off of that. Instead of being dry, like a, a wasteland would be, this this moss is probably like feeding off of that green goo that's coming out i don't know i like to be a bit thematic with uh, some of my terrain give it some story actually the next two builds are very thematic you don't want to miss those uh, i'm going to use my brush here to just push this yeah so my next two builds is going to be why two factions are actually fighting over the two pieces of terrain that i'm going to build so make sure to subscribe to not miss that it's going to be fun and we're going to talk about how we can make terrain be uh, 
part of the story gas lines. So for here, uh, I got this weird computer part. I don't know what it is, but it has wires. So I'm going to use those wires. And I want the terminal to connect to that antenna, right? Uh, make it, uh, give it a bit more functionality. Give the terminal like some life. Like, oh, that's okay. You got to go there to control the, I don't know, antenna or whatever. But uh, wires are always really cool if you're doing anything electrical on your piece of terrain even some chains so if you could like go to a jewelry store or michael's in canada uh, they have a bunch of chains for like really cheap and you could really use that in terrain maybe they use this to lift up those tires or something i'm gonna rest it a up a little bit dark brown bright brown bright orange and i'm gonna also dirty up this wire here it's too clean uh, I'm gonna make it look like it's been through some kind of desert storm or something. Get some some brown, some sandy brown on it. Not all the way. Just leave a bit of black on it. That's fine. And uh, there you have it. There is my um, little I don't know what do you call it satellite station for the Gaslands TV trucks to uh, film the races. And you got that little area that you could put different guns in so guys if you like this videos please drop a like subscribe for my next uh, videos on builds and other things and also if you do play gaslands and you're looking for dice i sell some on my etsy page um, i also have some gates if you like more gates uh, engines with skulls on them and uh, you know rams guns all kinds of cool stuff so go check out the etsy page um, most of it comes in a gaslands tv container that you can use as terrain as well and uh, the proceeds go to me and the artists and the people who prepare and ship all of this so there's a team behind it and your support really helps and we have a gaslands tv facebook page so go join us there and uh, check out this other cool video on something i built a while ago but it's still a fun build to watch so i hope you enjoy and uh, i'll see you next time thanks for watching